Yo, what up guys, Samuel here from the Soul Brothers and today I'm going to be doing the review for the J-Wall 2 versus the Crazy Quick 3. Okay, so um, I thought this would be a pretty cool versus video because they're pretty similar in uh, their cushion setup and when I played in both of them, they felt pretty similar to me. I just want to give you guys my perspective on both shoes. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So like always, starting off with the traction, the traction pattern for the Crazy Quick 3 was a herringbone pattern. And then for the J Wall 2s, it was uh, basically a storytelling traction. Uh, they're both really, really soft. I would say that the J Wall 2s are a lot thinner and a lot softer. So, um, but both shoes I would not recommend playing outside. But also, I think that while I was playing in it, the J Wall 2s had a really nice traction. The Crazy Quick 3, it, it was alright. I was, uh, I wasn't sliding around all over the place, but um, occasionally I would slip, and um, if it was dusty, I would stop and then right when it stopped and then slide a little bit you know what i'm saying so the kobe 9 i would um so let's say this is the kobe 9 and here's the floor and then i go in and do a cut right so it stops right away but for the crazy quick three it would just go like this and then slide a little bit right so the better traction would have to be the jwall twos so moving on to cushion so both of the shoes you utilizes the um, adiprene plus from adidas um, I am not a big fan of uh, Adiprene Plus. It's, I, I don't like it. <laughs> and also accompanying the Adiprene Plus is a crappy ass insole that is really thin. So it doesn't really do anything. Both shoes seem to be exactly the same setup. I'm not sure if the whole length of the shoe is Adiprene Plus. But um, what I am sure of is the forefoot is Adiprene Plus. But I'm not sure what the heel is. I think it's just a regular Phylon. Um, but and it doesn't really matter uh, from from those cushions. I, I don't really you don't really get any bounciness You don't get any impact protection really um, I can't really play in those shoes for a really long time because my feet and legs start to hurt um, and Yeah, overall I didn't really enjoy it, uh, but if it does give you a really really crazy amount of court feel so transitioning from shoes maybe like the Kobe 9 or uh, the Kobe 10s or the Hyper Rev 2015, I felt a lot more lower to the ground in the uh, Adiprene Plus. So uh, if you do like court feel, then those shoes are good. But uh, I am putting them um, like equal for the J-Wall 2 and then the Crazy Quick 3. For some reason, the Crazy Quick 3 felt a little bit thicker in the forefoot than the J-Wall 2s for me. But um, it's, it wasn't really that big of a difference. So I'm just putting it as tied. Okay, so let's go on to the fit. So the fit was pretty similar too. For for my toes, there was a good amount of dead space on top of my toes, which I don't like for both shoes. But overall, fit was actually um, pretty good. I would give it a tie. Um, they, they were both pretty pretty good fit overall for me. Let's just go over the lacing systems for both shoes. So the lacing system for the J-Wall 2, uh, the lace holes were stitched to the actual upper. And for the Crazy Quick 3, the lace holes were not stitch so it gives you kind of more of like a fly wire type of feel but lockdown for both shoes were uh, pretty good uh, the j wall 2s actually felt uh, my foot felt a lot more secure in those shoes for the crazy quick threes my foot was kind of sliding around a little bit so um, the lockdown wasn't as good even though i cranked the laces really really tight in them so yeah so the win is going to go to the j wall 2s for the lockdown slash support so let's go on to materials. So the materials used on the Crazy Quick 3 are just a regular mesh. And then on the J-Wall 2s is a synthetic mesh. It's actually different for what colorway there is. But I got the orange colorway and it's a synthetic leather or synthetic, yeah. Or it's a synthetic type of material. For me personally, I don't like synthetic leather that much. Um, it's really hot. It, um, it adds weight to the shoe. And it just feels a little bulky, I guess, or I don't know. I just I just like mesh a lot better, so I'm gonna give the win to the Crazy Quick Three. Um, that's totally my opinion. If you guys like synthetic leather more than mesh, then you're more than welcome to um, think that. Uh, I'm not saying that mesh is better than synthetic leather. I'm just giving my opinion. So now let's go on to durability. So durability, um, I would think that the traction. Well, so traction wise, if you play outdoors. Uh, you shouldn't play outdoors in these shoes, but if you do play outdoors, I think the traction on the uh, the Crazy Quick 3 would be better because the J-Walls have a really, really soft rubber. So um, for that, I think the Crazy Quick 3 would win. But um, 
Going on to the material side of things, I think that the J-Wall 2s are a lot more durable. The J-Wall 2s for me, uh, the since the synthetic leather was kind of a cheap kind of synthetic leather, the, the leather, the color or paint or whatever started to chip off after like a week of playing in it. So that was kind of a bummer. But um, I don't think it would add any durability issues, um, seeing as though like if it would rip or not, right? So um, I would give the traction to the Crazy Quick 3. Durability wise for the materials, I would give it to the J-Wall 2s. Okay, so now let's go on to ventilation. Uh, no question, Crazy Quick 3 wins. Now let's go on to aesthetics. So uh, this is totally my opinion, but I think the Crazy Quick 3s look a lot better. Um, yeah. I, it just looks better. <laughs> I don't know how to comment or review on that, but yeah, it's just my opinion. Uh, just leave that in the comments below what you thought, which shoe looks better. So overall, what would I recommend to you guys? Uh, I would recommend the Crazy Quick 3, especially since it's like half the price of the J-Wall 2s. It looks better. The cushion setup is uh, pretty similar. The traction, the J-Walls were better, but um, not 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 by too much and, and also uh it's, if you think that the ankle protect uh the ankle support for the jwall 2s is there it's not um ankle support was actually really bad in those shoes so i had to wear an ankle brace for both shoes so i would recommend the crazy quick threes over the jwall 2s just because you get a very similar shoe but for a lot cheaper so uh that concludes my versus video uh thank you guys for watching uh, i'm sammy lee from the soul brothers peace